All right, guys, this is part two of um, how to start style your hair. Make sure you have watched part one of how to cut your hair. To, and then this is part two of how to style your hair to get it to looking like this using your own natural hair. My hair is natural. I got this style while being natural. So it is possible. It's possible. We're going to see how long it's going to last. I'm going to go through two weeks and I'm going to come back and do an update. But anyway, make sure you stay tuned to this video so you can see how to get this style right here. Okay, in this clip, I'm basically showing you that I use olive oil, oil sheen. Um, it's ORS product. I use a lot of ORS products. When I washed my hair, it was the ORS shampoo, the ORS conditioner and everything like that so it makes my hair a lot easier to do i'm using little small flat irons i don't even know the name of these flat irons but i love them i've had them for years i don't know if i like rub the name off of them or what i did but i've had these things when i say for years i've had these for years and they work very well so basically i'm just doing a little bump in the back i'm not doing a real curl real curl if i was doing a real curl i would have you know curled a little bit tighter i just want more of the comb through effect because like when I curl curl my hair I basically take the comb you know how you have the lines going through your hair that's basically the effect I want and at the same time I straighten out my hair because like I told you guys I am still natural I'm still natural so I have to flat iron my hair to get it to lay down like I really want it so these flat irons will do the job it doesn't have like a heating heating setting on it it just turns on and off but I've been using them for years and I love them Okay, and for the front part, I'm just going to basically have to bump it. I'm not going to, you know, do a whole lot extra to it. And these right here is Irresistible Me 
diamond flat irons now that's another flat iron i love i hadn't had these quite as long as i had the small ones but i like to use these bigger ones for like the longer part of my hair just to kind of bump it i'm not doing a real real um tight curl right here but eventually i will like if i want it to be flipped more i just want a looser curl right now but in some of my pictures you may see why i actually went back in and i curled a little bit tighter it did a pin curl which will allow it to kind of flip up But anyway, right here, I'm kind of prancing in the mirror, thinking I'm cute, trying to see what else I need to do and stuff like that. Okay, in this part, I see that I have a little bit extra hair in the back and on the sides. So I'm kind of trying to cut it to an angle on the sides to try to get it to kind of, you know, flow a little bit better because I, I had a piece that was a little bit too long. And in the back right here, I'm kind of shaving it down. Like I said, I did use the clippers to start out with. I didn't want to pull the clippers out just for this. I'm kind of shaving it down a little bit in the back because it's kind of sticking out and it's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. So I'm just, you know, taking my, my razor comb. I guess that's what you call it, my razor comb, and kind of getting the back part to kind of get it to how I really want.
you will see my son in the shot. He want to show his face a little bit. Today is his birthday, but when you see this, it'll be the day after his birthday. But he's going to come in here so he can put his little face in the camera. Here he is. All right, guys. So that's how it goes. That's how you get your hair done. Um, so after you go through the steps, you just take your hair. You take it and you paint it like this. I didn't show you this part so you take it and you pin it like this it's probably gonna be like three, three sections that you want to pin you can even curl it even more to make it a tighter curl it's all according to how you want it to be you can pin it even tighter to make it a tighter curl too and then you want to take this part this is the longer part at the bottom so you do not want to Pin this part too tight unless you just want a pin curl look. So that's how you do it. You just do it just like this. And once you comb it down, you will have the look that you want. And at night, you would just take your little thing like this. And see how easy that is? You just take it like that. You put it on at night. And um, I also put this on because my things tend to slide off. I put this on top of it so that way it can stay in place. But then you slick like this. And some of those days when it's raining outside, it's real windy, and you don't want to pull your hair down, and you still want to be kind of cute. See, that's kind of cute. Just kind of fix your little sideburns like that, and you still cute. Well, I'm still cute. I don't know how you feel. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you watched um, part one of how to cut it, and I hope you watched my other video of I cut my hair and also watch my flat iron video of natural hair thank you guys for watching all my videos you guys have blessed me over the past years like you guys have really been watching my videos a lot of people don't really watch my hair videos I don't I don't know what it is that I need to do now that my hair is short maybe I have more tutorials on how to do things or, you know things people want to see and stuff like that and you guys are watching but thank you for watching. Be blessed. Make sure you check me out on social media. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Make sure you subscribe to my other channel if you hadn't already. And make sure you go check out my Amazon shop. You guys forgive me how I'm talking for when I'm sick and another I have a retainer in. Alright guys, be blessed.